What's up gamers? Welcome back to this uh, guidebook. Today we are working out of the shotgun bunch and the play we're going to be breaking down for you guys today is play action post. This is my base play. This is uh, my bread and butter. I run this a lot, a lot, a lot. And I personally believe that it is the best uh, base play in Madden NFL. Uh, 15. I think it will be the best base play in Madden NFL 16. There's a lot of things we can do with this passing, and I cannot wait to get into this and show you the progressions. Right off the bat, a couple hot routes that we want to do is we want to place our running back on a streak, and then because of the delayed hot route system, we're going to motion him over to the left side of the screen, and then we're going to place our tight end on a slant pattern. And you see we have uh, some interesting concepts here. We're going to be working a lot of levels uh, out of this play. Now, the first read on this play, let me just take a little note here. If you take a look at this, uh, the first player we're always reading on the defense is this corner right here. Uh, it could be a linebacker. It could even be a lineman. But this is the guy that we're reading, kind of the guy that's over the middle. The guy that if they are in a cover three or cover four zone is going to be dropping off. But if he's in a man coverage, he's going to be staying down on my running back. And so that's what we're really looking for. And uh, if he drops back at the snap of the ball, we're going to hit the running back every time. Time. Here you're going to see he's going to drop back, and we're just going to dump it right off to the back for a quick five-yard gain. Now, um, this is against most uh, defenses. You're going to have a lot of success with this passing route. Uh, almost any zone defense is really going to have trouble. Here we're going to look at a cover two, and you'll see that uh, – whoops, we, we hit the wrong button there. I apologize uh, for that mistake. But you're going to see here – that against most coverages, this is going to be very effective, uh, especially against zone coverage. And uh, here you'll sh see it here real quick. And just a quick little dump off right underneath for five, six yards. And it's very consistent. Uh, the slant route of the tight end really helps out this whole play. But when they go to man coverage, what you're going to see here is it's not as effective. You see that the linebacker is going to get in the way. And so that's what we're looking at. And, and you notice on this replay here, if I can give a, if it could take a second and show you, um, this backer here that we were keying on, he actually stays down and presses uh, at the line of scrimmage. And you see he presses Terrence Williams. Now what about a situation where they don't press, say a cover zero blitz or a cover one defense? He's still going to stay down. He's not going to back up at the snap of the ball. Here you see he stays down and we have trouble completing that pass. So that is our kind of tell if they're in man coverage or if they're in zone coverage. So once we see that that that, that is potentially happening, we're going to immediately look to the, to the um, middle of the field and check out Witten's route. Here we see he stays down. We look to the middle, and you see that Jason Witten's route has uh, a lot of room to, to go. If we pass lead that down, uh, we're probably going to have a little more effective of a, of a catch animation here. Let's look at this one more time. We're going to look left. Nothing there. We come back right, and you see that Jason Winton is now open. The cool part about this is that there's two man beaters on that right side of the field, and so it gives us a nice look into the progression. Uh, here again, another man beater we're going to have. If Jason Winton is somehow covered, we can hit this deep out route to Des Bryant. Typically uh, is, is, is very effective, very beneficial for us. Now, let's say they do some max coverage things or some user cover, and they try to throw a flat zone over there and maybe even a curl flat zone. If in this instance, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to hit this deep post over the middle. Uh, he does a good job at beating man coverage as well. And he's kind of our late read uh, coming over the middle. He's, he's not always going to be open. A lot of times you'll see them user control that route. Uh, but what happens is when you use these routes on the outside, then you're going to have a lot of, a, a lot of op open opportunities deep down the middle of the field. Now the next thing I want to show you is, if, if, for example, if they maybe take a defensive lineman and they man him up on the running back to take away that route. And so here we're going to man this defensive tackle on him, and we're going to see that it's simple. ball. He stays down. We know that that's there. And so we're going to come underneath to Cole Beasley. Now we forgot to slant our tight end there, unfortunately, and we weren't able to get the zone separation. Um, so let's try that again. And what we see a lot of times is that uh, this is going to leave a lot of open, um, uh, open opportunities. And what it basically comes down to is it's a high-low read. And so a lot of times you're going to get this route to Williams. is actually going to be open. Uh, here we're going to show you um, they're going to play down on Beasley, and it's going to leave Williams wide open in this void in the middle of the field. Now, that's not going to happen very often. I'm just going to tell you that from experience uh, running this play several times a game. Uh, oftentimes what you're going to see happen is that they're going to you know, play over the top coverage. Um, they're they're going to – and we'll, we'll press here, but, but they're going to play over top coverage and kind of take away Williams with the user player. And we're going to uh, mimic that by using over top coverage. And what you're going to get a lot is really good underneath separation for Cole Beasley in zone coverage. 
And so that's kind of what we work there. That's, I mean, really, that's what we do. Now, if you guys don't like the slant route, you can always in route Jason Witten. I find that the in route works a little bit better against zone coverage, and the slant route works a little bit better against man coverage. So if your opponent's running a lot of zone, then I would recommend running him on an in route. If he's running a lot of man, then I'd recommend him having him on a slant. But here we'll show you the in route does typically give us good separation against man as well, and it even gives us a little better spacing between Des Bryant and Jason Witten. So that's uh, – that's some basic uh, benefits to, to this play in general. What I really like about this play is there's a lot you can do with it. And, and what you're going to notice here is if they go into maybe like a cover two zone, uh, this is probably the best zone for this play. But what you're going to see we're going to be able to do is typically in a cover two zone, if we have some more time in the pocket, we're going to be able to hit DeMarco Murray over the top. And it says cover two and cover four coverage. Typically, uh, it does a decent job against DeMarco Murray's route. And what we're really looking for is that over the middle stuff. But here you see DeMarco Murray comes right in behind, and Williams will pull that deep blue zone. It's going to open up a nice little void uh, for DeMarco Murray to come in underneath. Another option that you can do with this play, and this is just for fun, you can put DeMarco Murray on that option route. And this does a decent job uh, uh, of holding zones there, and, and I hit the wrong button, unfortunately. But, but what we're going to show you is that this is going to do an even better job of helping and being of a benefit for Terrence Williams coming over the top. It's going to hold those zones down, and we're going to be able to hit Terrence Williams right over the middle uh, for a nice void there for big yardage. And you're going to see that this is going to be a very common occurrence uh, in this scheme. And we'll, uh, we'll put Murray on this route here. This is cover four coverage, and you're going to see again he's going to get right in that void. Uh, a nice... Nice separation there. Hopefully he can hang on the ball. That's why you want to have Terrence Williams there. Or, you know, sometimes I even put Des Bryant there just, just because I, I like his catch and traffic rating. But here again, there you see it. Comes right over the middle. And uh, that time he dropped it. But, but you see the kind of idea we're trying to get with, with this play. So that is the play action post. Uh, a lot of things you can do with it. Mer personally, it's my favorite play in the scheme. Uh, one other thing here I want to do want to show you is if occasionally I do zig route Jason Witten, it does make for a nice little man beater. Um, it makes a little pick play over the middle. Uh, the main reason I don't do that is because I don't like that it doesn't give you very many options in terms of Cole Beasley's route. Um, and, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll play a little motion game and I'll bring Murray over so they think they're getting that and then I'll bring him right back over, quick snap him. And uh, here you see now we got that same thing. He's still on that streak, uh, but he'll pull some spacing there for him. And let me just show you real quickly, uh, this works much better against man uh, than against zone. Here we bring him back over with that little man switch. And we bring, whoa, he's super, and uh, what's his face, super came there. Uh, with pressure like that, it's very difficult to get the ball, the ball out of your hands. But here you see we're going to put him on that. Everything's the same. We're just going to bring Murray back over. Witten's on that zig route. And what you're going to see is it gives us a lot more separation for Cole Beasley coming over the middle. Uh, but that's just some cute stuff you can do to kind of uh, mess with your opponent. So that's play action post. And uh, guys, we'll just keep going with the guide. But that's what we got for you there. Uh, we'll show you some gameplay footage of the whole scheme working together uh, at a